John with Roundabout Woodworks and the subject of today's video is dust collection. Um, I've already shot the footage. How do I say that? Uh, I use a three-quarter horsepower portable dust collector that happens to be mounted on the wall next to the light and uh, a flex hose and a, a PVC inlet to collect dust at the source as I'm sanding. Um, and that's not perfect. But I've already shot the footage of turning a part of it. I turned a, a stand that fits on the lathe that lets me move the, the, the inlet around closer to the work. And I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you actually using it to sand something. Uh, but let me say there's, there's just no way to collect all the dust off of uh, at the source while you're sanding. Uh, I've yet to run across anybody, any turner, uh, who says, oh yeah, I use such and such collector and it sucks all the dust off the paper. Uh, it just doesn't happen. I, I don't think you can get enough suction through a dust collector to do that. And I could be wrong, but it's probably one of those industrial models that uh, none of us could afford. Uh, or even have space to house. Uh, when it's warm enough, or when it's too warm to turn with the shop door closed, I open the shop door and I have a squirrel cage blower that sits behind me that blows from behind me across the lathe out the door and uh, that keeps most of the dust out of my lungs. When it's too cool to turn, when it's too cold or even when it's too hot to turn with the shop doors open, I have a ceiling mounted air cleaner that I keep running while I'm in here uh, in addition to the dust collector uh, but not with the fan because I don't know why. When it's cold, I don't want fans blowing on me. But um, When I first got the air cleaner, the ceiling mounted air cleaner, I thought this probably isn't going to do a great job, uh, but every little bit will help. And I was amazed at how much air or how much dust it pulls out of the air. Uh, just a, a week of running and, and the filter, the pre-filter changes colors. You, you can see the dust caking up on the, the filter, which is washable on mine. Uh, and even that, even with the dust collector and the air cleaner running together, there is still a cloud of dust around when you're working. And I work a lot with bone and antler and really don't want to breathe any of that. It's not good to breathe at all. Uh, wood dust is tame by comparison. And so when I'm turning bone uh, or a particularly noxious wood, there's a couple of species of woods that the play havoc with my sinuses. Uh, I wear, a, I tuck my beard, you always have to tuck your beard into your collar, otherwise some of it will get pulled out. Uh, I wear a bandana. Tuck the beard in, wrap the bandana around my face, and I'm good to go. Because there is no dust collector in the world that will hold this much beard. And I figure if a bandana was good enough for a cowboy, it would be good enough for me. Um, this is just a piece of uh, southern yellow pine. Uh, it's a 2x4. Split 2x4. And I'm going to turn a tenon on the end to fit into the end into this hole that I've drilled. And uh, we'll go from there. My favorite tool, 3 quarter inch cube.
none of these measurements are critical. I'm just roughly 12 inches from the bottom of that bead.
and it's not perfect. You can see that there's still waves in the wood. And that's because if you hold on to it tight enough to keep it from moving, it burns your hand.
and just drilled holes. You're going to get a kick out of this, I'm sure. I've got a uh, three-quarter horsepower wall-mounted dust collector with a flex hose on it that I've done several experiments. Th this was my my first experiment. There's a piece of uh, four-inch PVC. Just get it from the hardware store or the big box store or whatever. Uh, I turned in a this is a piece of southern yellow pine. 2x6 that I just turned on a lathe to plug the end. And then I cut a hole in this side and I put um, game fence. I don't know what you call this. This isn't chicken wire. It's smaller than chicken wire, but uh, chicken wire I don't think would work because the holes are too big. This stops the big. This stops the big stuff from getting stuck in it and clogging up the grate on the dust collector. Alright, and the idea that I'd had originally was that it would mount down here. And before, when I first did it, it fit. It, it would rest right next to the lathes, right next to the ways on the lathe and provide downdraft dust collection. It didn't work really well. What I did next is just a regular four inch PVC pipe, actually the end of that one. Uh, I got another two by six adapter. I glued two of them together so that I could get one that fits inside and one that provides a mount for the flex hose. And I've got some sheet metal screws drilled into the end right here. Uh, so that I can hook it and it kind of points it. It's not perfect. And it would sit down here or I'd wrap the chains around the tool rest or the tail stock to, to hold it close while the dust collector sucks. And this isn't perfect either. So what you saw me make with the 2x4 that I think I said was southern yellow pine. I think this is actually white pine. Uh, but this these hooks are designed, I don't know if you can see this or not. That slides under. And then the hooks hang out. So when I have something between and I'm sanding, it's gonna suck all the sand, all the dust away. I can move it back. I can still use the chains to, to pull it around. Uh, and, and this PVC pipe on the end of that flex hose works really well. The, the the entire thing, it doesn't just suck on one side or you know in the middle. It works really well. So. That's what this was for. Uh, anyway, I'm not suggesting that you copy what I do because I do everything kind of a haphazard way. Just if it's close enough, it's good enough for me. And I think this is going to work really well. It's going to work better than what I've been doing. Um, so that's what I do with dust collection, or that's how I do dust collection.
can tell or not. I won't know until I edit the footage. But being mounted in a chuck, it, it causes some kind of a, I don't know what you call it, but a draft. And it tends to suck dust into the chuck and back towards the motor. When it's between center, so spur center on this side, uh, it works a lot better. But still, it works well enough that I'm happy with it. It's not going to stop me from using the air cleaner. I have an air cleaner mounted on the ceiling, and uh, that takes all the fine stuff out of the, out of the uh, air. Anyway, that's it for now. That is my ceiling mounted air cleaner. It does double duty as a bandsaw blade storage rack. I am just short enough that uh, I'm just short enough that I don't catch on the bandsaw blades. I do want to say thank you to uh, all y'all who are subscribers. I appreciate that. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, this is kind of how my videos are. Uh, I don't put out a video every week. I kind of just put out a video when I feel like putting one out and when I have something to say. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Uh, I don't get anything when you subscribe, uh, but it makes me feel good when, when uh, somebody has subscribed. Uh, so thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching.